is up YouTube. I'm gonna do a four part series, a nice little four part series for you. It's nothing to do with Brooklyn. Nothing to do with Brooklyn. We're in the bar and I am gonna tell you my top five, my top five things, the top things to watch. To watch while you're home and isolated. You've got the little neck Netflix flickety flick, you've got fucking Stan right there, you've got a little Disney fucking channel right here. But you, 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 you don't have anything you can watch. You, you, you've run out of things to watch, but you need suggestions. I'm going to give you a top five. My top five things at the moment that I think that you should watch while you're isolated at home. I've watched them for you. I'm going to tell you about them, and you're going to put them on your list, and you're going to watch them. I've got a four-part series. It's going to be 20 things altogether. Five things today. Yes, there's going to be a lot of horror stuff in there, but, uh, you know, horror is good, so let's do this. Let's do it. Lights, camera, action, baby. It's movie time. This is one of those movies that you'll just skip right past and you won't even give a chance. Give it a crap. It's called No Escape. It was back in 2015 this one was released and Owen Wilson is your main star in this. Give it a crap. Now the first 20 minutes, if you can get past the first 20 minutes, it gets intense. Fucking intense. So the storyline is a couple, Owen uh, Wilson and his wife, uh, and their two daughters, they relocate to Asia and uh, only to find themselves caught in the middle of a dangerous fucking war with these Asians. Now, realizing that uh, the foreigners are being murdered on the spot, like I'm talking brutally murdered on the spot, they make a desperate decision to escape uh, the violence on the streets and uh, their hotel and seek refuge to the American uh, embassy. Now, while they're trying to avoid detection from the merciless rebels, uh, they've, got to, they've got to make their way to the uh, embassy. It is insane. It is a wicked movie. It is fast paced. You get those, the, the 20 minutes of the lovey dovey family going over to Asia, moving over there. A bang, as soon as it happens and the war starts, and they've got to, he, he's trying to, Owen Wilson's trying to protect his family. I give it a fucking 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Put it on your list. It was awesome. Pierce Brosnan's in it, actually. Pierce Brosnan's in it as well. So there you go. Put it on your list, no escape. Okay, this one came out a couple of years ago, and this one is filthy, okay? Filthy horror. Uh, Art the Clown, Art the Clown, this came out a few years ago. This is a uh, terrifier. This basically, this basically has no plot. It's, um, it's, it's very violent, uh, but it makes up for, um, it makes up that truly creepy villain. And there's some very well done, incredibly brutal gore effects in this movie. The acting is perfectly fine. Uh, nothing amazing, but it's uh, perfectly acceptable because a lot better than you usually get in a low budget horror film these days because low budget horror films are so shit at the moment. But this one was just low budget and brilliant. Nearly no storyline. Arthur Clown is just stalking these girls and the murder scenes are absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This takes me back to my old days of the horror movies where the killing scenes are just amazing and mental. But the gore and the killing scenes that the director has done in this movie is just absolutely brilliant. And because I know it's fake, that's why I can enjoy it so much. Uh, Art the Clown is just perfect. His character, this clown, he is the silent killer. He's just silent the whole time. And that's what's more creepy about him. He's just this clown that is a fucking creepy clown. Terrifier, please watch this one. I give this one nine and a half out of ten. I fucking love this movie, and they are doing a sequel, and I can't wait. And I hope it's as gory as uh, as this one. But watch the Terrifier, man. Please watch the Terrifier. Do not have your kids around when you watch this movie. Do not. Terrifier. This one is just simply titled Clown. This one is actually on Netflix, and it's on Stan. And this was brilliant. Uh, myself and Kelly both found this on there and uh, thought we'll give this a crap. We watched it, absolutely brilliant. 
Now, storyline's a little boy's birthday party and it gets ruined when uh, his entertainment clown cancelled on uh, uh, turning up. So his father finds a clown suit and becomes uh, the new entertainment. Uh, but something's a bit weird about it. There, uh, there's an evil curse and it, um, and it won't come off. So this clown suit will not come off the dad now. Uh, and he's getting more and more evil with this clown suit on. He um, specializes in eating little kids and uh, everything uh, after that goes downhill uh, for the dad. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. I thought it was so good uh, for another B-grade horror movie that's on Netflix and on Stan that you're paying your $10 a month for. Give it a crack. It's gonna scare you. You need a little bit of scare in your life. Don't think that someone's sick because they're watching a fucking horror movie about a clown. Don't you worry about that shit. Watch it, enjoy it, enjoy it. You'll even have a few little laughs as well. And some of the horror scenes and kill scenes are fucking absolutely brilliant. Uh, especially a little scene with his nose, you're gonna love that one. Uh, Kelly really loved that bit. And um, just give it a crack, give it a crack. If you don't like horror movies, you know, I've still got other movies for you. Don't stress, don't stress. So that's Clown, check out Clown. But unfortunately today it is all really basically horror movies and violent movies. So my movie number four, uh, hold on, did I tell you what I gave Clown? I gave Clown a seven and a half out of ten. I enjoyed that, seven and a half out of ten. This movie is called Train to Busan. Now Train to Busan is a South Korean movie, so the whole movie is subtitled, okay? If you don't like subtitles, skip to the next movie after this one. But I don't usually like subtitled movies, and I thought this was brilliant. Even Kelly liked it. And she doesn't like this shit. So we enjoyed this. Uh, this was a bit of a violent one as well. Um, a father with uh, not much time for his daughter uh, boarding the uh, KTX. Uh, it's a fast train that shall bring them from Seoul to uh, Busan. And uh, during that journey, the apocalypse begins. Yeah, that's right. The fucking apocalypse begins during this movie, okay? Um, and uh, most of the Earth's population become flesh craving eating zombies it's brilliant it's just a perfect storyline south korea has done this movie to a fucking perfection now while the uh, ktx is uh, shooting towards basan the passengers fight for their uh, families and uh, their lives against the zombies and uh, try not to get eaten and they're just fighting for each other this 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 is brilliant. This one came out, I'm not sure, two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Man, this one's 9 out of 10 for me. For a fucking movie that's got subtitles, gets 9 out of 10, it's got to be good. For an Asian movie to do awesome, awesome effects for a zombie movie, this is fucking sweet. So, 9 out of 10, Train to Busan, get on that. That is Netflix, that is Netflix, that one. Watch that if you need your zombie you need a zombie taste of some zombie stuff in your life. Alright, my last one, number five, isn't horror slash gore, but this is violent as well, but this will keep you on the edge of your seat. This movie is 10 out of 10 for me, so stick with me. 10 out of 10, stick with me. Now this is on Stan. If you don't have Stan, it's only $10 a month. Stan, get on Stan. This is Eden Lake. Eden Lake is an absolutely brilliant movie. Absolutely brilliant. The main star, I don't even know his name, but he played Magneto in all the new X-Men movies, so there you go, it must be fucking good. And I think it was before he even did the uh, X-Men movies. So, uh, the, the storyline on this one goes, basically, uh, this boyfriend and girlfriend go camping um, and escape for a romantic weekend away. And um, planning, uh, the boy planning to propose has found this remote lake enclosed location in the woodlands and um, seemingly deserted. Uh, the couple's peace is like shattered when a gang of obnoxious kids, uh, they come and fuck up their campsite. Just absolutely fucking provoking the adults, provoking the shit out of the adults. Uh, the gang steals the couple's belongings and vandalizes their car, uh, leaving them completely stranded. Now. When uh, the main bloke confronts them, uh, he, his tempers flare and he suffers a shocking and violent attack. Now, fleeing for help, uh, his missus is um, subject to a brutal, an absolutely brutal and relentless game of cat and mouse as she's got to try and get back and help her husband as well. 
uh, a boyfriend or whatever the fuck he is. And as she is desperately trying to uh, get back, her young pursuers um, are trying to follow him and her in opposite directions. It is one hell of a fucking movie. These young little punks, you just want to fucking absolutely hurt these motherfuckers. But they are violent young teenage kids and they are getting the better of two adults. It is brilliant. Could you imagine going camping and this happens to you and your missus and these young little punks just start fucking terrorizing you? This is a brilliant, brilliant movie and this is one of those ones where you sit back and you just go, holy shit, if this ever happened to me, I'd be fucking well pissed off, man. Because you would beat the fucking living shit out of these little pricks. But I'm not going to tell you what happens. You need to watch that. That's a 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10 from the Aussie BHS Riptar. You get a 10 out of 10 in your first episode, man. So because there's no thrifting happening and there's nothing like that happening and no sourcing, I thought I'll give you some of these recommendations of what we've been watching. Uh, because, hey, you've got to spend your time doing something and why not watch a few fucking movies. So add those five to your list and uh, give me an old thumbs up down below because I believe that you should give a thumbs up because these are damn good movies to add to your list. So thumbs up. Or do what the fuck you like, I don't care. Give us a subscribe as well, that'll be pretty sweet. Uh, I'll give you episode two coming up maybe in, uh, say, we'll say four days or then five days. Gives you time to watch the five movies in five days. How about that? And I'm going to do the four uh, episodes for you. So cheers, guys. Click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I'm out of here. Fucking see you.